we'll study some theorems on later we know that duality is a property that belongs to the branch of algebra which is known as latest theory so dual is involved with the concepts of order as well as structure common to different mathematical system in mathematics basically duality is not a theorem but we can say it to be a principle this is a showing this is the table showing uh, dual of some operators or some variables like dual of and is or dual of or is and dual of one is zero dual of zero is one and so on now we will show that dual of a complete lattice is complete suppose lr is a complete lattice with relation r if r bar is a relation which is dual to, to this given relation r then l bar lr bar is the dual of lattice lr then clearly lr bar is a lattice let s be any non empty sub subset of l we know that lr is complete therefore it has a greatest lower bound and least upper bound means supremum of fs exists and infimum of s also exists in lr suppose a is equal to infimum of s means greatest lower bound of s in lr it means a is related to x for all x belonging to l and this implies because r bar is the dual relation of r therefore x is related to a with respect to r bar for all x belonging to a it means a is the upper bound of s in l r bar let b be any upper bound any other upper bound of s in l r bar it means x is also related to b with respect to the dual relation r bar for all x belonging to s and this implies that b is related to x because r bar is dual to r and this is for all x belonging to s but a is the infimum of s means greatest lower bound of s so it means a is related to b and this implies because r bar is a dual relation therefore b is related to a and this shows that a is the least upper bound of s in l r bar similarly we can show that supremum of s in l r, l r will be infimum of s in l r bar means a great, least upper bound of s in the latest uh, given latest l r is the least upper bound of sorry greatest lower bound of s in l r bar where r bar is dual to r and it means the relation uh, this set l together with the re, uh, relation r bar is a complete lattice now in lattice we have some laws first one is idempotence law means a join a is a and a meet a is equal to a so how to prove this suppose we know that a join a is an upper bound of the set consisting of elements a and a hence a join a is greater than or equal to a on the other hand if a is an upper bound of this set then a join a being the least upper bound of a a is less than or equal to a it means a join a is less than or equal to a but we have shown that a join a is greater than or equal to a here we have written a join a is less than or equal to a hence a join a is equal to a similarly we can show that a meet a is equal to a second is commutativity commutative commutativity means a join b is equal to b join a and a meet b is equal to b meet a since we know that a join b or b join a are the 
least upper bounds of A and B and A meet B and B meet A are greatest lower bounds of A and B. So, since A is less than or equal to B join A and B is less than or equal to B join A, therefore B join A is an upper bound of A and B. Because A join B is the least upper bound of A and B, we have A join B less than or equal to B join A. Because A join B is the least of all upper bounds of A and B. If we interchange A and B, we can write it as B join A is less than or equal to A join B. So if we combine these two, we get A join B is equal to B join A. Similarly, we can show that A meet B is equal to B meet A. Third one is associativity. Associativity means A join B join C is equal to A join B join C. And A meet B meet C is equal to A meet B meet C. This is associativity. Suppose D is equal to A join B join C. It means uh, D is the least upper bound of A and B join C. Means D is greater than or equal to A and D is greater than or equal to B join C. Because D is the upper bound of A and B join C. So D is greater than or equal to A and D is greater than or equal to B join C. And this implies D is greater than or equal to A, D is greater than or equal to B and D is greater than or equal to C. And if we combine these two, we get D is greater than or equal to A join B and D is greater than or equal to C. It means D is greater than or equal to A join B join C. Similarly, if we assume E equal to A join B join C, we get that E is greater than or equal to A join B join C. It means A join B join C is equal to A join a join B join C. Similarly, we can show A meet B meet C is equal to A meet B meet C. Fourth one is A less than or equal to B imply is uh, A is less than or equal to B if and only if A join B equal to B. And A is less than or equal to B if and only if A meet B is equal to A. Let A is less than or equal to B. It means B is an upper bound of the set AB. And we know that A join B is the least upper bound of the set AB. So it means A join B is less than or equal to B. Also, A join B is an upper bound of AB. It means A join B is greater than or equal to B. If we combine a join B less than or equal to B with A join B less than or equal to B, we get here we have less than, here we have greater than. So if we combine these two, we get A join B equal to B. If we assume A join B equal to B, then we will show that A is less than or equal to B. So suppose A join B is equal to B. Uh, because A join B is an upper bound of AB, therefore A is less than or equal to A join B. But A join B is B. So it means A is less than or equal to B. So it means A is less than or equal to B if and only if A join B is equal to B. Similarly, we can show that A is less than or equal to B if and only if A meet B is equal to A. Fifth one is absorption law means a join a meet b is equal to a and this is also equal to a meet a join b by definition we know that a meet b is less than or equal to a because a meet b is the lower bound of a is the lower bound 
A meet B is the lo lower bound of A and B. So by definition A meet B is less than or equal to A. So A join A meet B is less than or equal to A join A. We have included A here and A this side. A join A meet B is less than or equal to A join A and by idempotence law A join A is equal to A. So also by definition A join A, A meet B is greater than or equal to A. And here we have shown that A join A meet B is less than or equal to A. If we combine these two we get A join A meet B is equal to A. So it means uh, similarly we can show that A meet A join B is equal to A. Now isotonicity law means if B is less than or equal to C then A join B is less than or equal to A join C. And B less than or equal to C implies A meet B is equal to A meet C. Suppose B is less than or equal to C. We know that A join C is greater than or equal to A. And A join C is greater than or equal to C. But C is greater than or equal to B. Because B is less than or equal to C, therefore C is greater than or equal to B. Means A join C is greater than or equal to B. It means A join C is greater than or equal to A. A join C is greater than or equal to B. Means A join C is the upper bound of A and B. Thus A join C is equal to least upper bound of A and B. Means A join B. Least upper bound of AB is A join B. Similarly, we can show that B less than or equal to C implies A meet B less than or equal to A meet C. Now, seventh is A less than or equal to B. C less than or equal to D implies A join C less than or equal to B meet B join C. And A less than or equal to B. C less than or equal to D implies A meet C is less than or equal to B meet D. If you use the isotonicity, means B less than or equal to C implies A join B less than or equal to A join C. And B less than or equal to C implies A meet B less than or equal to A meet C. Then we have A join C less than or equal to B join C. And this is less than or equal to B join D. Because A is less than or equal to B and C is less than or equal to D. So using the iso isotonicity we have A join B, C less than or equal to B join C less than or equal to B join D. So we have proved this part. And for this part, because C is less than or equal to D, so using the isotonicity, A meet C is less than or equal to B meet C. And because C is less than or equal to D, therefore this is less than or equal to B, uh, B meet C. So we have proved this part. C less than or equal to D implies A, not A meet C less than or equal to B meet C. We have used this. Now, uh, distributive inequality means A join B meet C is less than or equal to A join B meet A join C. And A meet B join C is greater than or equal to A meet B join A meet C. We know that A is less than or equal to A join B and A is less than or equal to A join C. So, it means A join A meet A is less than or equal to A join B meet A join C. Because B is less than or equal to A join B and C is less than or equal to A join C. Therefore, B meet C is less than or equal to A join B meet A join C. We have used the Seventh condition. A less than or equal to B. C less than or equal to D implies A join C less than or equal to B join D. And A less than or equal to B. C less than or equal to D implies A meet C less than or equal to B meet 
d so here in this case we have used b less than equal to b is less than equal to a a uh, join b a b and c less than equal to a join c implies b meet c less than equal to a join b meet a join c by definition a join uh, b meet c is less than or equal to a join b meet a join c this one a because a meet a is a so a is less than or equal to a join b meet a join c here we have a join b meet c less than or equal to a join b meet a join c so it means a join b meet c is less than or equal to a join b meet a join c now modularity modularity means a less than or equal to c if i know leaf a join b meet c less than or equal to a join b meet c let a is less than or equal to c it means a join c is equal to c now by distributive inequality this one a join b meet c is less than or equal to a join b meet a join c and this is equal to a join b meet c because a a join c is equal to c so i have substituted a join c equal to c so we have proved this part we had assumed a less than or equal to c and we have proved that a join b meet c is less than or equal to a join b meet c now we will prove the converse part suppose a join b meet c is less than or equal to a join b meet c then a we know that a is less than or equal to a join b meet c and this is less than or equal to a join b meet c and this is less than or equal to c this is by associativity i think this should be equal here it should be equal because a join b meet c is equal to a join b meet c and this is less than or equal to c because we have uh, meet here now we will show that lattice l is a modular lattice if and only if for any a b c belonging to l the following conditions hold means a join b meet a join c is equal to a join b meet a join c suppose l is a modular modular lattice it means a less than or equal to c implies a join b meet c equal to a join b meet c this is by definition of modular lattice because a is less than or equal to c therefore c is equal to a join c so in place of c we can write a join c so a join b meet in place of c i have written a join c and here a join b meet in place of c i have written a join c so this is the required condition now to prove the converse part we assume this condition and we will show that l is a modular lattice suppose that for all a b c belonging to l a join b meet a join c is equal to a join b meet a join c let l is less than or equal to c so this implies that a join b meet c is equal to a join b meet c because in this condition 
we have substituted A join C equal to C. So A join C equal to C. So A join B meet C and here A join B and this is meet C. Because A less than equal to C means A join C is equal to C. So it means A less than equal to C implies uh, this condition. It means L is a modal lattice. Now we will show that uh, n cross n Cartesian product of n and n is a mod modal lattice where n is the lattice with usual relation less than or equal to so suppose because uh, this is a Cartesian product of n and n so the its elements will be ordered pairs so let a1 a2 b1 b2 c1 c2 belongs to n cross n means Cartesian product of n and n here a1 b1 c1 belongs to n a2 b2 c2 belongs to n so suppose a1 a2 meet b1 b2 is equal to a1 a2 meet c1 c2 and a1 a2 join b1 b2 is equal to a1 a2 join c1 c2 suppose this holds it means a1 meet b1 is equal to a1 meet c1 and a2 meet b2 is equal to a2 meet c2 and a1 meet a1 join b1 is equal to a1 join c1 and a2 join b2 is equal to a2 join c2 it means a1 meet b1 is equal to a1 meet c1 and a1 join b1 is equal to a1 join c1 i have written here now this we can write here a2 meet b2 is equal to a2 meet c2 and a2 join b2 is equal to a2 join c2 it means uh, n together with this relation is a chain uh, and it is a modular therefore by the fact that any two natural numbers are either equal or they are comparable it means uh, because a1 meet b1 is equal to a1 meet c1 and a1 join b1 is equal to a1 join c1 therefore uh, it means b1 is equal to c1 similarly a2 meet b2 equal to a2 meet c2 and a2 join b2 equal to a2 uh, join c2 therefore b2 is equal to c2 it means b1 b2 is equal to c1 c2 it means uh, Cartesian product of n and n is modular lattice. Thank you.